Philly instances about them. Uh, let's see. So we're first starting off on Battlefield. Uh, I can see this happening, both of them, just because like it gives Jen a, uh, a get-out-of-jail-free card when he's able to just up and land on the platforms, just making things extra safe. Uh, as for like Frozen, you know, he gets pin cancels and all of that. Um, wow, already seeing like Jen stuffing out one of the pins. Maybe he's a little bit less safe than you think. Just because Ryu actually has some pretty fast moves, pretty good buttons. The fact that he was able to jab out of it, even though that was probably just a like a poor situation there. Uh, probably just be careful about it because you can maybe up B him. Um, right now, hits are going kind of blow for blow, but Frozen's taking a little bit more of the more of the brunt over here. Approaching 100%, but now we're seeing a little bit. No, Jen able to stuff out Frozen, keeping him out. But now Frozen's trying to, you know, even things up. All right. Uh, anticipating that pin, even though it whiffed, he still went for the focus attack. He was like, ah, it's, we good. We're going to hold that. Really nice coverage. Makes him focus the back air, and then uh, there's nothing else for him to armor anymore. So he's able to finish him out. Uh, Jen having some pretty good momentum in the first stock, but uh, Frozen was the one sealing it out. Ooh, but now is he gonna follow suit? Right now we're in that we're in that area where like the lead really hasn't been solidified. Uh, if he dies, then we're back at an even game, and just like that, there here we are. All right. Now we're seeing kind of like a different neutral start here because now they're kind of like used to their patterns a little bit more. And now we're seeing a little bit of resets like that. Beautiful by Jen. Going for that hit, but knowing that it's not going to lead to too much and going for the grab. Unfortunately, things fell apart a little bit afterwards, but you know, it's all good. We're all in the game. It's still even. Uh, and you know, these are two like pretty heavy characters. And we're on Battlefield as well, so like there's a lot that can happen. Like, unless you're getting F-Smashed by Ryu or getting gimped by Frozen, you know. Like, oh, man. Okay. Frozen's definitely carrying that momentum, what he did from, like, getting the first stock. Even though he wasn't able to solidify that second stock lead, he's like, I'm taking control of the neutral here. Ooh. Oh, really like that. He actually did get hit by the pin, but it was in focus, so, you know, there's not going to be much there. So he opted to just kick away. Ooh, really good uh, timing there by Frozen. He just saw that Jen was like, he was in the focus attack, and he went to cancel out, and that's when he did the pin. So he forfeited all of that armor and <laughs> tip her pin in the air. Oh, my, he's dead. So we're going to be running it right back uh, to Battlefield. So we're going to see a little bit more of the same. However, usually when you see these types of runbacks here, um, it's that, you know, okay, I want to keep these, I want to keep the variables the same because I'm going to mix things up, you know? So now we're seeing exactly that. Jen hasn't taken a hit. Sure, it's only been like the first 30 seconds, but Frozen's already on his way to 100%, you know? So now... He got a little bit of blows in, but that's not going to be enough. Frozen's already, like, pretty much at kill percent, regardless of the stage's blast zone. Ryu is very killy, and he is ready. Oh, my God. All right, Frozen's beginning to mix things up, starting to, like, dance around a little bit more to get some baits out and just see how he's going to continue approaching. Uh, to like mix things up, you know, trying to play it safe enough where he's not going to get killed, or uh, you know, punished to die. Uh, and now we're seeing, you know, the tables are turning once again. You know, Frozen is now like that mix up in the beginning. He don't care about it at all. He went, oh, okay, I see you're doing that now. <laughs> I got an answer. Ooh. And Battlefield going to end up hurting Jen as it's his counter pick. Just for the fact that he hit him with a strong bear, but he still didn't die. And I feel like that would have been a really good position for Jen to be in. All right. 
It's still not over just yet. Oh, he ended up power shielding it. If he was expecting it, that would have been death right there. And that's like the kind of risk that even Pin has. Now we're having like neck and neck, both max rage. Well, Ryu 10% left for max rage. And finally takes another back air and Jen's gonna take that stock lead, but not at, as comfortable as it would have been earlier, taking a lot more percent, basically max rage here. So unless he's able to solidify the stock lead, Mm -mm, back to even games. So, are we going to see a repeat of the first stock in game two where Jen just starts running away with it? Because I feel like right now the momentum is in Frozen's favor. Regardless of the fact that he died first, he just kept, he just stuck to the game plan and he is just uh, making sure that all of his assets are covered. All right, and that's what I was talking about. Just going to this stage, you know, it gives him just like, kind of like Marth, where he just go do up B and, you know, how, how you're gonna punish it. He can hold down. He can. It's a real good uh, mix up, 50-50. Okay, still seeing the, both competitors going real neck and neck here. Uh, I want to say this, see it's weird because I want to say that it kind of puts Jen in a bit of a advantage, but you know, Corrin is never a character you can really count out. She's got really safe pokes that can get, that can net a really huge reward. Ooh, using those giant Dragon Wings to hit him through the stage. Okay. Now Jen is pretty much like claimed control of the stage. Every interaction has been where Jen is in a bit of a advantageous position and that's where it shows. Where he had to get around him and he was tracking him right there. So he was just like, okay, you can't get away from me. So we're going to have an even game uh, going to game three now. Oh my. All right, I think we're seeing a switch. I don't know if we're going back to Battlefield. Wouldn't be too surprised, honestly. Um, there is uh, quite a bit different. Just trying to mix it up. Okay, so going to Smashville. This is another... Well, this is actually a pretty interesting stage. So now we have the normal Blast Zones. But now we have Platform Chan. For those not familiar with Platform Chan, Platform Chan can sometimes erase your stage pressure. And I really like the fact that this is Frozen's counter pick because if you paid attention to the previous game where Jen just kept stage control, it was because he was in that center and was able to keep up with Corrin the entire time, kind of boxing her out of the stage. So Platform Chan's gonna roll up and he's gonna be like, thanks Platform Chan. See, now we have like this really, this reset position where, not reset position, but resets the entire neutral and you just go, okay, he's sitting there, I have to wait and reconvene. And just like that, you know, Frozen's definitely uh, really changing. Oh, never mind. You know, Frozen was doing a good job. Then he got punched. Uh, that's what happens when you get punched. <gasps> wow. Jen going for a really high risk, high reward. Baiting out the air dodge and actually missing the spike, which would have actually ended the game. His percent, Corrin's percent is high enough. That would have been the set right then and there. Uh, but you know, something like that, just being that close to death is, even though he missed it, it still works out in his favor because now Karn uh, is like, well, damn, I could have just died. Now, you know, Jen has, has a bit of a lead here, but this is nothing that Karn can't just easily uh, even up. You see, uh, you actually see Frozen, you know, really taking advantage of that moving platform on Smashville. You know, he's like, this is my counter pick. I'm going here for a reason. So when I feel unsafe, I'm going to retreat to it. Uh, and it doesn't have to be for very long. It just has to undo the situation at hand. 
Ooh. I think he read a jump and he just like stuffed him out with that uh, F tilt. Oh my, strong back air, not gonna be enough. Weight of a dragon, very heavy. Oh my. That's gonna be it. And Jen is doing extremely well. Also, fantastic job preventing Sage and Frozen from playing. They didn't play at all last season, they're not gonna play today.